Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 6 Ark of Napishtim. The last time we got to Port Ridgemore and we did a side quest and we got to level 12 and this time we are going to continue the dungeon here. Now first thing you notice is these guys are probably beating your ass and that's fine. One thing you can note is that if you need to at any point, you can restart the dun- you can get to back to the start of the dungeon. These guys are not too difficult. And out here, we got Rockman. And he gives you pretty good experience. And back up here, I think there was some- did I miss something up here? I hope not. I might have. I did. I missed a rock man. They give some good experience, so... They aren't the best experience you're gonna get in this dungeon, but they're damn good. I don't know if this is... There's a chest in here with an herb. Nice. And that's another level up, sweet. Coming up is, without a doubt though, the best experience you are going to get in this dungeon. And they are from an enemy. These guys, the rocks, they give great experience. The only hit downside is they blow up. But if you can hit it, bang, you got yourself a good experience thing, yeah? In that door right now is nothing you is nothing, so we're not gonna go in there yet. But we will inevitably. Just there's nothing in there right now. But since I have the ability to right now. I'm gonna tell you to train on these rocks. And I'm gonna do just that. By just going in this door and going bam, hitting that rock. And just do it until, like, you know, you don't, you stop really getting experience. That's my advice. Well, I think I've gotten most of the experience I can from the Rock Duders, which is fine. I mean, hey, it's good. I mean, I like enemies that are very passive and give good experience. Those are the best in video games. I don't think they really meant to do that, but I'm grateful for it nonetheless because it makes my life easier and I'm pretty sure it makes a lot of other people's lives easier as well. And I got some honey from that. And I intend to like, you know... Not like, uh... Yep, there goes that. But yeah, we got a lot of good enemies here now, and now you go bang. And 
And there goes that enemy. And up here, I am heavy and I cannot move. There's another rock. And right here is an additional accessory slot. This is pretty useless at the moment, but won't be for long. I mean, it probably will be for a while. I mean, the only good accessory I really got right now, and the only good accessory we're going to have for a while, is the accessory we have right now. Cool. And I leveled up again. Nice. Yeah, you're going to be making quite a good a bit of experience in this dungeon, it looks like. Kind of doesn't help that the dungeon has a pretty good kick-ass theme to it. No. Save in port four. Okay, let's see where we're going this time. Crossing the bridge. That bitch just stole my money. Get back here. Piece of shit. Well, nothing I can do about that now, except call him the P.O.S. I did. And there's a chest right there. Can we get up? Yes, we can. And in that chest is actually something really great. What's it going to be? Find out next. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so we jump over here, and we will grab it. The banded mail. Ooh, that's a good one. I imagine. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the banded mail. That increases my defense by 24. Cool. And then up here, you get another good item. When surrounded by bombs. You got the Wings of Alma. With this, you can warp to any point you have been to at this point in time. Any of those statues that you save at, you can now warp to those as well, which is quite nice. Crap, they've caught me cornered. Hey, no fair, there's a ton of you and only one of me. That's like two different voices. I'm, 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 I'm a goner. Yeah, now I'm at all. I mean, I was at all before, but. Amazing, that was so cool. Thanks, you saved my life, you know that. I don't know who you are, but you're really strong. You finished off those monsters like they were nothing, huh? That's funny coincidence. Your sword looks just like the one we got at home. How'd you get it? And I'll introduce himself and explain Chief or gave him the sword. You're kidding. Can't believe my dad would give it to an Asterian when he hates them so much. He must really trust you. Anyway, I'm actually Chief Ford's son. My name is Ur. Nice to meet you. 
It's good to know they're all doing okay. I haven't been able to get in touch with them since, the, well, the bridge is down. So I've been kind of worried. But man, this isn't really isn't my lucky day. When I was out gathering herbs, I saw the red fairy carrying something sparkly off in this direction. I was kind of curious, so I thought I'd follow her. And before I knew it, I was, you know, all the way out here. Professor Robert must be worried about me, so I'm going to head back to town now. Oh yeah, there's an altar at the top of this mountain with a sword enshrined on it. You're a swordsman yourself, so maybe you should go pray at it. Do whatever swordsmen do out at the sword shrine. Catch you later. Yeah, that was a weird voice. That was my default. Whatever level. I don't know if I want to go down. Yeah, I do want to go down here now, and you'll get the reddened shield. You want to equip the reddened shield. Yeah, so let's continue up this dungeon, I guess. Until we find the drop point. Well, I fell off a cliff. Nice. Aren't I good at video games? What the f Okay. Um, let's just hope that doesn't happen a third time now. Didn't happen a third time, luckily. I need to remember to watch where I'm going. And so in here now, we got this room with bugs and stuff. They can barely even hurt me now because I'm way more powerful suddenly. I'm pretty much at the level I want to be for the boss, which is good. So we're going to jump down here real quick. Uh, this does not lead to the boss. You have to climb up that whole area again. But here's the blue tabulu. Tabula. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the English language we're speaking. And we got the self siphon Silflin boots. Silphen boots, whatever you pronounce it as. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the Silphen boots. Ooh, we're gonna have to traverse that. I'll meet you back at that one room. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we're back here now, and... More enemies, more rocks, which... Don't give us much experience anymore, because I'm... Probably well above them at this point. And I am full on honey now, so that's nice. And there's another rock monster in there. Doesn't actually lead anywhere, which is a weird placement for a, a dungeon place. Look like Gorons, to tell you the truth, from Zelda. I wonder if I'm ever gonna LP a Zelda game. Hmm. This was initially meant to be Let's Play number six, five, but I mean, I don't think I mentioned that here yet. I mentioned it in the end of Donkey Kong 64, but yeah, this was, but. Uh, things happened, and I got a capture card, and I was like, okay, I'm going to LP Donkey Kong 64 now. I am at the peak. I am going to warp back to town real quick, so I can, quote-unquote, 
get a do some upgrades to my sword that sounds like fun let's upgrade my sword why not I am going to tamper it. We're level five, and then I'm gonna tamper it. Uh, okay, can't tamper it again. Well, that's fine. So now we're gonna head back to Grand Vallis Mountain Peak. I could do that. I haven't, there's an item I can buy here now, but it's not too important, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, one other thing real quick, I do recommend you, you equip The honey. And then save. I don't think I could have died between any of that, but, uh... That point up there... I can't reach up there, but it looks like there's probably something up there I can do once I get a certain item. But I don't have that item right now, so I'll come back here when I get that item. Run out the fountain, and there is a mirror fragment. Hey, what the hell was that for? I didn't say anything, do you? Yeah, I do want it. Okay. You wanna have fun with me? That's fine. Alright, we got a boss. Oh man, you know, that sounds very sadistic of you, man. All right, this is our first major boss of the game. Um, that right there was my special power, which I fucked up. Nice. Job on my end. I equipped the honey because this thing can do a lot of damage to you by doing that thing into the ground and that attack's kind of hard to avoid and then he can throw wind at you and stuff, which is nice, I guess. And then, um, he has another attack, but we're not going to see that one just yet. Can I catch him? I, I cannot reach him right now, but yes, I can. Let's get out of the way real quick, and then let's go like that again. Now he's spitting out eggs. And I can hit him now. So just do that, and then he won't be able to do any damage to you, yeah? So those eggs, if you do not destroy them, will spit out some insectoid enemies. Keep it up. He's going back there. And I've done a little bit more damage. This one can be a little bit of a time consuming boss because of that. I'm going to heal up a little bit. But it's not too difficult, uh, so just see if I can reach. Now that I've gotten him down to like below 300 and stuff, he's gonna be a bit faster. Things should speed up from here, I think. Yep, here we go. I can now start hitting him again. Nice. 
Okay, let's see if I can get him a little bit down. There he is. We're gonna hit him a few more times. I hope maybe got him in a little up. Nice. And there is another sword. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, is your name pronounced Jew? Is your name pronounced Jew? I, I gotta know that. That's a question I genuinely want to know considering how many things I cannot pronounce in this game. Because they're all fake words and shit. Is her name pronounced Jew? I don't know. Now we got a new sword. It's fiery and stuff. And, um... That's nice, I guess. I like fire and stuff. I probably wouldn't be able to hold this thing in real life, though, because I actually do not like fire in real life, and it scares me. It makes me feel a sense of discomfort. Alright, um, so yeah, that's the dungeon. We're done here. And that was that one room I told you we'd get to later, that that was the room. So yeah, we saw it. We will, I told you we'd be there inevitably. You know, someone else made this joke one time. When I was first playing the game. Um, I read a guide. And that was the joke the same guy made. Anyway, next time on Let's Play East... Uh, six, we will upgrade our sword and hand in this mirror fragment to, uh, Ola. I will see you guys then.